Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Car Town. Now it's a low poly asset, and I think it actually looks quite nice. It comes with two demo scenes, which you know I'm a fan of. And the scene itself, at least one of the scenes, which is the layout variant, is quite nice. It's got everything laid out as you would expect. So quantity wise, I think there is a fair amount here, and I was actually impressed by the amount of content within this package. So we can see here that we have the roads laid out, we have some buildings, we have traffic lights, we even have some trees over here. Uh, signs for the roads, pavement or sidewalk or whatever you want to call it. And I think generally it's very, very nice. You could easily prototype something. Quality is great. For a low poly, I think it's great. A little bit of post-processing really adds to it as well. I think it just looks really unique. I quite like it. So this is one of the demo scenes. This is the layout variant. And the other one that's in here is all assets. And obviously this is just a parade of all the assets. Uh, the other one obviously doesn't include the cars, or at least I didn't see them on there anyway. But here we have all these little cars. So if you're making some kind of low poly racing game, this is probably going to be really useful for you. Really, really useful because you can prototype something very, very easily just with this single asset package. Uh, there's a lot to choose from. You can see right there, the quantity is fantastic. Quantity, fantastic. I love quantity. I love it. So it is free, which is always good. However, prices do change in the asset store from time to time. Just keep that in mind. Size is less than a megabyte. That is absolutely amazing. So if you are aiming to make something for mobile games, this asset package is great. It's got the quality, it's got the quantity, and it's got the size down. That's absolutely brilliant. Can't argue with that at all. Uh, extras. Um, I wouldn't say there's much in the way of extras because you get what you see. These sort of asset packages, I wouldn't expect to see many extras. But if we look at this building, for example, you know, it's pretty decent. It's got a little radio tower on top. Um, although it's not its own independent asset as such, I guess, you know, you could manipulate it in some ways to be whatever asset you want it to be. So going back onto the layout variant, uh, customizability, you can obviously customize this to a great degree. You could change a lot of things in this if you wanted to. For example, uh, you could change the uh, material to just be standard, I guess, giving a whole different effect to the scene. Then obviously you can go that a little bit further, take that, um, change the normal map if you wanted to. You know, I, I always love playing around with the normal maps just to see what kind of effects I can come up with because you, you won't believe how customizable things can be with just a normal map. So if I apply that now, you can see how much that's changed. Let's change it to Albedo Alpha. Uh, let's increase the metallic look and then go back onto the game view. And there we have an almost completely different looking game. The style is so different than what it was previously. So just keep that in mind when you change it around. Obviously, play around with the light, see what you can get. Uh, so the folds are all laid out neatly. We have all the material, well, one material, as it were, uh, the models that we need, all the prefabs. So you can obviously drag and drop so many things into this. You don't have to deal with just the uh, demo scenes it has. So like I say, ideally, if you're making a mobile low poly racing game, experiment with this one. I think it's going to be pretty useful. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And I'm sure you probably guess by now. Yeah, I would recommend this asset. I think it is a great asset to use to prototype a game, to just use things from, just to explore and understand different things. So yeah, I would recommend this asset. So guys, have you used it? Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Uh, if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, please let me know in the comments as well, because I'd love to check it out. Don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything on video game development on my channel. And guys, thank you very much for watching.